all right everybody welcome back to another video today we're doing the medical data visualization visualizer for free code camps data analysis with python so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a csv you're gonna read some data from a csv this is what it looks like and then we're supposed to do we're supposed to create a chart similar to the one in fig figure one um where we show the counts of good and bad outcomes for the cholesterol glucose alcohol and active and smoke variables for the patients with cardio equal one and cardio equal zero and we're going to use the data to complete the following task in the medical data visualizer.py so we're going to add an overweight column um, we're going to normalize the data we're going to convert the data into long format and create a chart and we're going to clean the data etc etc so for that figure so we're supposed to create um it's supposed to look similarly to this and similarly to this right and this is what the code will look like but we're going to be doing it in jupyter notebook so i have it all set up already so let me just put this to the side where i can um read it and then let's get into it all right let's get into it so first things first we're gonna have to do we have to import the data so it's df pd.read underscore csv and then the file name is medical data visualizer.csv I need to add an overweight column so that's going to be df um, open bracket called overweight close it and then that's going to be Let's read the instructions. So we're gonna add an overweight column to determine if a person is overweight. First calculate their BMI by dividing their weight in kilograms by the square of the square of their height in meters. If that value is greater than 25, then the person is overweight. And use the value 0 for not overweight and the value 1 for overweight so let's get into that so it's gonna be a np.where and that's gonna be open that and then that's df bracket weight divided by np dot square open the bracket again df and then that's gonna be h i g h t and then that's gonna be divided by 100 and then divided by 25 i mean not divided by greater than 25 is one else zero so basically what it is is we're using np.where numpy.where where the the weight where the where the weight is divided by the height the square of the height divided by 100 and greater than 25 then one else zero basically so the next task is we need to Normalize the data by making zero always good and one always bad. If the value of the if the value of cholesterol or glucose is one, make it zero. And if the value of and if the value is more than one, make it one. So to do that, all we need to do is we're gonna do df um, cholesterol. Equals np.where 
open the bracket df um, cholesterol equal one then that's zero else one so basically it's where the cholesterol is one turn it to zero else if it else if it's not one then turn it to one and then we just override it to cholesterol and then we're gonna do the same thing for glucose so all that is is boom and then glucose and that does glucose so now what we need to do now is draw the cat plot so we're gonna have to draw this so let's see convert the data into long format and create a chart that shows the value counts of the categorical features using the cwards cat plot the data set should split by cardio so there is one chart for each cardio value the chart should look like the figure that i just showed you so to do that what we're gonna do is i'm gonna do df underscore cat equal pd.melt open the bracket df comma id underscore vars equal cardio comma value underscore vars equal and then that's gonna be active alcohol cholesterol glucose overweight smoke so that's um, active alcohol cholesterol glucose overweight and smoke then what you got here da, da, da. change that and then let's change that there we go and then so group and reformat the data to split it by cardio. So show, show the counts for each feature. Um, so what we're gonna do is, that's gonna be figure equal SNS dot cat plot. And then that's gonna be X equal variable comma kind is equal to count u is equal to value data is equal to df underscore cat comma and then column is equal to cardio and then after that get the figure for the output so then well no it's not done yet so that's figure that set axis underscore labels figure that set axis labels on variable comma total ish and then it's gonna be just fig is equal to figure and then that's it for the cat plot so let's see if we get anything fig is not defined why is fig not defined.
There we go. So this is what it looks like. And then now onwards to the heat map. So for the heat map, we're supposed to so we're supposed to normalize convert the data not the fish clean the data filter out the following patient segments that represent in cart data distal pressure higher than systolic um height is less than 25 percentile height is more than 97.5 percentile and we're supposed to create a correlation matrix so to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go df underscore heat is equal to df open bracket and then that's going to be df, there we go. P underscore root and then that's gonna be greater than our less than or equal to the um, AP underscore high and then the bracket again DF back height then greater than or equal to df bracket ght dot quantile boom and then that's gonna be 0 0.025 and then that's gonna be hmm, Copy this because I don't want to type it again, and then that's gonna be greater than our, it's gonna be less than, and then 97.75, and then we're gonna be doing the same for height. Not high weight. So I'll just copy that twice and then bring that over here. Change it to weight. Change it to weight. Go to EIGHT and then copy this. Paste that. Copy this. Paste that. Copy that. Paste that. Then that's gonna be oh it's already here and then that's it for cleaning it and then we need to calculate the matrix so it's core equal df underscore heat dot core and then we need to generate the mask so it's MESK equal numpy dot TRIV open that and be dot ones like and then that's going to be core and then that's btype we call o and we set up the, the figure so it's fig comma axe equal plt dot subplots subplots Fig size equals from record twelve comma twelve. So that's the size. And then draw the heat map where that's SNS dot heat map four comma equals zero comma in max is equal to 0 0.25 comma fmt 
is equal to 0.1f comma line width is equal to 1 and not is equal to true. We're going to square is also equal to true. And then mask is equal to mask. And then C bar quarks is equal to shrink. Shrink, comma, a q. And then that should suffice. So let's check it out. And it is not right. So oh, I forgot the ands. So there we go. And that should still. Quadrations mask. Okay, where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Da, 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 da. There we go. Try it one more time. And this is a mess. Why is it a mess? No idea. Let's check something out. Okay, so that's not the issue. So let's go back over it. Duh, 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 duh. V min zero, V max is twenty five, FMT point one duh, line width is one, and that is true. Square is also true. Mask is equal to mass. V bar KWS equals shrinking to point eighty two. There we go. And there we go. So if we look at figure two, so what figure two should look like, figure one should look like this. And if we check it out, we have them both. And I guess I ran it twice. Huh. Let's see something. That's the cat plot. That's the heat plot. There we go. So we have two, and we also have two. And that's it for. So then what you do, you just go back in here and then you just paste the code in here and then run it and save it and then you're good to go. So that's it for the medical data visualizer. Um, thanks for watching and catch you all in the next one. Peace.